the most common issues that arise when gathering data from a designer engineer to bring into business center so that you can do a takeoff or do a data prep for your stakeout or machine control you typically run into the issue of the what's known as the civil 3d objects so here i have a surface and this surface is a, a 3d object or a civil 3d object as is known it's made up of different components whether it's you know brake lines points uh, contour lines, boundaries, you name it. The other option or the other objects you have are alignments. So in this case, we have a road corridor or road design where we have a horizontal alignment, which is also has a vertical profile associated with it or a vertical alignment. Um, you can see that in here I have a few different alignments. I've got different profiles. Over to the right are the profile views. Those are also objects as well as the cross sections that uh, make up the design. So all these, this information are civil 3D objects. Now, if I bring those into Business Center, so I have these files here, I'm just gonna select those same two files, I'm gonna drag and drop them into Business Center. Move this guy out of the way. It's gonna give me a couple errors and warnings. I'm gonna go ahead and say no, not look at that. And this is the issue you run into, it's known as the box. If we look over here, we can see we've got a bunch of boxes. If I look closer, the profile information is no longer there. It's a bunch of boxes. If I look over here, I have maybe some geometry, some line work, but the majority of it is all basically unusable, right? I can't use any of this. Now, I'm gonna show you if I remove these two drawings and I delete those, let's just do a control A to clean this out. I'm gonna show you that I'm gonna bring in the same two files, except I've made a slight modification to a variable in these two files. I'm gonna grab these two files, I'm gonna drag and drop them in, and we'll go ahead and minimize this. Still get the two errors, no warnings. I'm gonna click no. Now you'll notice that I have some objects here, some objects here. These objects down in here is just some broker and references. I can go ahead and delete that. So when I now when I come in here, you'll notice that now I have successfully brought in the contour lines of that surface. It's brought in the corridor information, which is the, the stored cross sections. If we look at that, or not, they're not stored cross sections in this place, but they, they are the cross section templates from uh, the Civil 3D corridor model. If we come in here, you can see that we have that information there. If we look at the profile and the cross sections, you'll notice that you know, I have the assemblies so I can see and measure those. If I come over here, I've got all the profile data that I can work with as well as the cross section information now that I can work with. So I would say that by bringing in the second two files, I have successfully brought in the data from uh, Civil 3D. Now here's the magic trick or magic variable. In this drawing, in Civil 3D, there's a variable called proxy graphics. So if you just start typing in proxy, P-R-O-X, in graphics, you'll see that it's set to zero. If I set it to one and then save this drawing, that is what will give me the results of the second two files that I brought in. So I'll show you just what I was doing here to save time is I've got proxy graphics one and I've got proxy graphics zero. The proxy graphics zero come in as boxes, where the proxy graphics one comes in with the data um, that I can actually use. And you can see I actually get quite a bit of data when I bring it in. So if you're a contractor and you're requesting the information from the engineering or design firm, ask them to simply set the proxy graphics variable to one. Save the drawing and then just email you that drawing. You don't have to save it down, you don't have to export it, it's a very simple process and they can set it back to zero if they so choose. If you're an engineer and you're being asked to provide this data to a contractor who's using Trimble or Trimble Business Center, set that proxy graphics variable to one, save the drawing and then send your drawing. The other thing that we recommend also providing is simply outputting or exporting out the LandXML file. If you export out the LandXML file, 
it gives them the alignment information, the surface information, exactly the way that you designed it and created it in the first place and therefore they can use that in the estimating takeoff as well as the data prep or stakeout process. To learn more about what Trimble Business Center can do for you, contact your local SciTech dealer.